Welcome to Mr. Michael's ELA classroom. What are we going to learn today? Let's get ready for school. Hello, students. Today we are going to review capitals and sentences, look at the different sentence types, and look at the different sentence structures. So capitals and sentences. A duck likes to swim and fly. Can we see anything wrong with that sentence? So number one, we do not need a capital D. Duck is a common noun. So we do not capitalize common nouns or verbs unless they are at the beginning of the sentence. So these two do not need to be capitalized. Are you hungry, John? So what is wrong with this sentence? Always capitalize the first word in a sentence. You do not capitalize a pronoun unless it is the first word in the sentence. And then finally, you always capitalize proper nouns. So let's do a quick review. So that dot this is called a period or a full stop. You put it at the end of a sentence. And that is a comma. It is used as a pause when you are writing. It is also used to make lists. So different types of sentences. So a statement sentence, it tells you something. It ends in a full stop or period. For example, it is a donkey. A command sentence tells you to do something, ends in a full stop or period. Get me that donkey. A question asks you something, ends in a question mark. Is it a donkey? And exclamatory tells you something exciting, ends in an exclamation point. Watch out for that donkey. So you see how the voice changes depending on the type of sentence. So the different sentence structures. We have simple sentences, compound sentences, and complex sentences. And the big difference in all of them is the use of connectors known as fanboys. So for, this means because. And in addition to, you can read the sentences on your own. Nor means and not, but means however, or means either, yet means but, and so means therefore. So I'll give you a second to read those sentences if you want. But when you look at the first letter in each of those little words, those little connecting words, it comes up with fanboys, and that's why the acronym was created. So a simple sentence. A simple sentence has no fanboys in it. I can see a cat. I like to eat chicken. Today is my birthday. We are going to the mall. I am happy today. There is a test today. These have no fanboys in them. So a compound sentence is different. It has a simple sentence plus a fanboy plus another simple sentence. So it's like two simple sentences connected by a fanboy. I can see a cat and I am happy today. I can see a cat, full stop. That's a full, simple sentence. I am happy today, full stop. That is a simple sentence. So I'm connecting two simple sentences with a fanboy. I like to eat chicken, but I don't like to eat beef. My friend is 20 years old and she likes to eat noodles. A complex sentence is a bit different. It has a simple sentence, plus a fanboy, plus a part of a sentence. My friend likes chicken and beef. So simple sentence, my friend likes chicken. But beef is obviously not a simple sentence. So it is a part or a phrase, but beef is just a part of a sentence. It's not black or purple. I don't like Samsung or Apple products. Okay, thank you for listening. That is all. 